Dan, I mean, what do we say at the end of a game like that? It was just so, so close. And yet, yeah, in the early stages, it looked as though you were just going to fade away. Yeah, that, that's what we said in the huddle there, Bafe, really. We, you can't come to a place like this and go 17-0 down. For as well as we played, the impact the bench made, uh, the fight, the character, everything, you know, we, we said we can't fault it, but we're going to go away and we're going to review that first 25 minutes in particular, particularly hard. And, you know, you can't, you can't go 17-0 down against a, a top-quality team like this and, and expect to get a result. You know, we showed huge amounts of fight and spirit, but, um, yeah, we're, we're, bit, we're disappointed with that first sort of half an hour. Let's park that first half an hour and talk about what followed, because 81,000 people here, countless people watching on television, would have been gripped by what they saw. What was being said? What did you notice about your teammates changing as the game progressed? Well, I, th I think... We from, from one point, it's really pleasing that we managed to find space and open the game up and, and stretch them, but we were almost forced into that a little bit as well because of the scoreline beef. So uh, we just we just knew that we couldn't keep running. We, we, could, we had to put phases together. That was the, the big thing. We made we made some good inroads in that first half, but we just couldn't finish anything off or put you know large amounts of phases together. So once we once we managed to stress them and do that. It, it, we managed to keep ball and find some territory and, and cause them all sorts of problems, but we just couldn't get enough of that in that first half. I know coaches and captains hate singling out players, but let's mention a couple. Alex Cuthbert winning his 50th cap, Taulupi Falatau back after a long time out with injuries, both putting in huge shifts. Yeah, I thought Cuthbert was unbelievable. Uh, the amount of meters, the, how powerful he was in contact, he was, he was brilliant. And Toby looked like he'd never been away, didn't he? So great to have those two back and it adds competition to the squad and, and depth to the squad but um, I'd also like to say congratulations to Ben Youngs as well who you know an unbelievable achievement to become England's most capped player so congratulations from all of us at Wales well that's very gracious of you and also I know you've lost I know it's going to be heartbreaking for you but wow what entertainment thanks cheers, Dave. Dave thanks very much cheers guys